Hey guys, this is Bastez. Today we're going to be playing Slime Rancher. I got this game a long time ago. I've played it a little bit, but not a lot. So... I guess I'll go with the bandit cat for the profile. We'll just name it... Bastez. And we'll do an adventure run. I really like this game. The graphics are so bubbly and cute. A thousand light years away from Earth, on a planet known as the Far Far Range, Beatrix Lebeau begins her first day as a slime rancher. Loading. Moving. Yeah, the graphics are so cute. Sprinting. I love how colorful it is. And the music's so cute, too. I'm gonna back up the slime. I love- <laughs> they make such terrified faces. Okay. You back the slime. Oh, I need to put it in there, right. There. There we go. But yeah, I really like games that have these bubbly graphics. Like Journey to the Savage Planet. I've been thinking about getting that one since I saw Jacksepticeye play it. Fruits like veggies. Okay. Right. Oh, I have them in my inventory already. Here, let's feed them. Oh, it's so cute. And then we suck up this, right? And this is part I remember. I remember the first part on like how the game works. I think I got to about... I discovered these two. And I just got to the jungle and then I stopped playing. We've learned the fundamentals, now it's time to go and explore. Okay. Well, I'm gonna gather up these guys. and put them in the pen so they don't run away. There we go. Now I guess it's time to explore. Dry reef, a coral crusted ocean floor. Okay, there's so many of them. I'm just gonna get all of them. Okay, I'll have to come back to that later, I guess, when I unlock that. The water looks so nice. I'm glad this is a game where I don't have to go in the water, because I'm terrified of the ocean. In real life and in all games, I don't know why. I don't even live near an ocean. Oceans just freak me out. Carrots! I want this. Can I have it? How can I get it? Okay, that was weird. Um... It said I got a mail. I'll go and check that. We're just gonna put these here because I don't know how many I can put in the cage. There. I'll put a few in it. Oops. Let me try that again. But yeah, I'm afraid of the ocean. So naturally, being afraid of the ocean, I decided to get Subnautica. That didn't end up going that well. Oh, I almost threw this over there. No, we're gonna put him right down here. They're so cute. The chickadoos. Okay, let's see our mail. From Cassie. Hi, B. What's it like to sleep for a whole year? Did you dream? I can't imagine what that's like. 7Z puts you in a pod and then lights out for all that time. Wow. What's the far, far range like? Have you started exploring? Is the air as clear as they say? I bet it's really beautiful. I'm probably asking too many questions. I bet you have a lot of work to do on that ranch. 
I still can't believe it's yours now. I guess I better leave it, you to it and just keep it short. Good luck, B. If anyone can make it out there, it's you. From Cassie. Okay. Welcome to the Far Far Range, the 7Z Corporation. Miss Labu, the 7Z Corporation would like to welcome you to the Far Far Range. Welcome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and extend our support to your bold new venture as a slime rancher. Support extended. Okay. <laughs> I can tell they're going to be a really friendly corporation. We would also like to request that you exercise caution in your first few days on the range. Until you get more familiar with your surroundings, traveling at night is not advisable. Lastly, should you require any additional tools for your backpack or items to make your slime ranching experience easier, the Z the 7Z Corporation would be pleased to provide them to you from the shop located just outside your ranch house. The 7Z Corporation providing the tools you need to get the job done for us for a small fee. <laughs> oh, I forgot how cute the character design is with that minty green hair. I know they've added a bunch of stuff since I played the game. And I didn't get that far anyway, so... I don't know most of it. What's this? Hello, Beatrix. The name's Hobson Twilgers, rancher, explorer, and the former owner of this here ranch you now call your own. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I was a rancher for more years than I can remember, and I felt there was one last adventure left in me, so I've set off to find just that. But before I go, I'm taking one last tour around this here land I love, so keep your peepers peeled for notes like these if you want to hear that one old cute has to say every now and again be talking to you h okay i'm gonna get some of this fruit everything about this game is so cute and colorful as i was saying before i got distracted by never i'm just getting distracted left and right this game's so cute i um, well, as I was saying before, I'm really terrified of the ocean, so I decided to download Subnautica. That lasted all of five minutes before I <laughs> quit the game. Too scared to keep playing. I don't know why. Oceans freak me out so bad. <laughs> I saved them. Ooh, nice. Oh, it shows the Gordo locations. Can I access it by pressing M? Okay. Chicken. Chicken. I'm gonna get all the hen hens. They're so cute. Um, but after I downloaded Subnautica, I later decided to try out Ark Survival Evolved, which it went really good too. Nothing was freaking me out until I had to go in the ocean and then bam, sharks. And I was like, nope, nuh uh. But yeah, I have a really weird set of things that freak me out. None of them make any sense, you know? I could be- except for the oceans. The oceans sort of make sense. I could be freaked out by- oh. This guy's different, right? Largo. We're gonna put him up there. But, I mean, I could be freaked out by something totally logical. Like snakes but instead i choose to be freaked out by an ocean even though i live nowhere near oceans and by i'm also freaked out by dolls and moths which all make absolutely no sense like dolls can't hurt you why are they scary neither can moths okay i'm just gonna go up here Okay. Ooh, it's a different thing. Let's see, can I give it to him? Eat. Oh. That's one of the bad ones, the tar or whatever. Here's another note. 
I had a great big tree like this here one along the edge of my property back on earth. It had been there before anyone could remember. It survived all kinds of change around it, and then one day, I began to notice it was dying. It wasn't anything unnatural, just hit its time, I suppose. But then I realized that if I didn't do something, I'd end up like that tree, spend my whole life in the same place. I wasn't going to let that happen, so I bought a ticket for the far, far range the very next day. That seems like a rash decision, dude. And the sun's starting to go down. Oh, another one. He eats meat. Okay. It, oh, I have meat. I have chickens. Eat. It always makes me a little sad feeding the hen hens to the everything, because they're so cute. I'm gonna make my island, my, not island, my ranch be like vegetarian. I'm not gonna have any hen hens and stuff. Also just because they're a pain. Manage more moving things. Ooh! Roostro! We're gonna... Bye bye I don't want that. Okay, I guess that door's locked. So, we're just gonna head back this way. Oh! If you fuse them, they get to die to both. I'm taking this guy then. I want him. So let's head on over. Back to the base, I guess. Oh! Phosphor. Oh, those are cute. Ow! Okay. Mean. Let's put this guy back in here. And then I'm gonna try and feed that big one I found over there, the big pink one. Because it said it ate everything, I, I'm pretty sure. Oh, they look so surprised. I'm getting rid of these. I don't need them. Oh, he can't eat. He only eats veggies, so he won't be able to eat the berries, I guess. I'm gonna release these. There you go. He looks so happy. I'm gonna go shove some food in his face. Eat. Eat. Oh, he's shaking. Eat. Oops, I missed. Eat. I guess I can't get the mushrooms. Okay, we're gonna just head over here. Oh. Oh! oh. <laughs> just explodes. Gordo slimes. Bon appetit. Bon apple tea. Okay, there I saved them. Now into the ocean. I've invented flight. Let me try this. That doesn't work. Oops, I shot that one way too high. Carrots! But I got a key, so I guess I can go and unlock that other area I found then. Let's head on over there. Oh! They hurt me. Okay, no thanks. I'm just gonna- Ow. We're gonna remove them. Bye being mean into the ocean. Ah! Okay. That's too much. I'm leaving. Let's unlock. Nice. Plant. I guess we go down here. Oh, what are you? You look so cool. It's adorable. <gasps> There's a little one. Boom slime. Oh, like, explosive? They're really cute. Oh, it's so cute. Oh. They're just the cutest things ever in this game. 
no, leave me alone. I'm trying to get the fruit. <laughs> These chickens look different. It's a stony hen. Okay. That's different. I should get some of these to feed to that cat over there that I saw. Whoa! I'm gonna come back for that. I'm just gonna go in. Can I not get out? Let's see this. The moss blanket may seem like an ancient jungle of sorts, but the fact is that much of what you see here wasn't even around when I first began exploring this land. At this rate, I reckon that it won't be long before this greenery completely overtakes the far, far range. Hey you, I'm gonna use him like a stool. There we go, that works. My, my big brain. Can I walk on that? I'm not gonna try it. Nice. A little Aurora Borealis. That moon is huge. Oh, it has a face on it! I didn't even notice that. There's the eye, there's the other eye, and there's the mouth. That's really cute. Oh, there's more of these. You can leave. Yeah. That genuinely scared me, and I'm not quite sure why. Eat. Oh, he's got hearts. I haven't seen any of the others make hearts when I feed them. He must actually appreciate me. I'm gonna put him in the water. Oh, there's another? Okay, we're gonna put them both over there. Into the water. Ow! Okay. Bean. We're gonna get some more of these. I just orphaned a baby chick over there. I'm gonna just shove him into his face. Oh, I didn't notice before. They grow a little whenever you feed them. His wings are so cute. I like how blobby they are. I like how blobby everything is. I think these guys might be my favorite so far. Whoa. Where'd the gold one go? Just disappeared? That sucks. It's just like that shiny one I saw earlier. You see it for a second and then it's gone. It says this one's- Oh, is this showing the ones we found? I don't remember finding this. That one's worth- Oh, was that the gold one we saw? Oh, I would have got that. Oh, the Slimepedia. Oh, Switch has everything I haven't unlocked. Oh, there's a lot of stuff to unlock. Okay. Oh, he's so hungry. I need to get a vegetables or something for him. Veggie and meat. Eat the- stop hurting me! Eat the chicken! Get the chicken in your face. There we go. We got these two now. Those give two. I'll make my- I'm out of those- what are- the Gordos? No, they're the Largos, right? What are you? Yeah, it's a Largo. Oh, this was where I, I could get upgrades, right? Jetpack. I want a jetpack. Cool. There we go. Got some more money. I can buy another upgrade now, I think. Power core. The water tank. Heart module. Ooh, I need this. It'll be nice being able to hold some more stuff. Now that I have the backpack, I think I'll be able to get up there, so I'm gonna try that. And here we go. Got some chickens. I'm gonna use these chickens on the fat cat over there. Reminds me of the that old sushi cat game on, like, Frizz that I used to play when I was, like, seven. 
Okay. Uh, put these in his mouth. He needs so many. Ooh, from Thora West. Go see what that is. I'm gonna put some more meat in his face. Okay. Oh, look at all that money. Not that much. What sort of stuff? I think I can build more. Yeah. Can build a garden, a, co a coop, a co op. Oops. A silo, an incinerator, and a pond. I want a garden. Oh, I don't have enough. What's this? Help me out here and I'll make sure you get what's owed. Okay. Oh, she needs those and then I get. Ooh, that's quite a bit of money. I like that. Picky berries, eight. Ugh, I don't have those. Okay, well, I'll try and find those, I guess, then. And I think I got an email from. Yeah, her. Hi there, Beatrix. The name's Thora West. I'll keep my introduction short on account that we all got work to do. I'm a longtime rancher here on the far, far range and head of the welcome wagon for your local range exchange. The range exchange is a network of ranchers just like yourself who are looking to trade what they got for what they need. Slums, plorts, food, whatever. All you need to do is check out the range exchange machine daily and be sure you get your trade completed within 24 hours. As more rangers get added to your network, you should receive a hearty hello from them, so check your inbox. Well, enough John, we both got slams to wrangle. Adios, Beatrix. Okay. I don't know why I'm giving all of them, like, Texas accents. Just because, like, the Wild West ranchers. I don't know. I'm gonna suck off these. There we go. Nope. These are mine. Gonna... Oh, no. I want the carrots. Let's see if I can get these fruits. Yeah. I want all the fruits so I can feed that over there, because they explode into smaller versions of themselves, I think. So then I can get the... Phosphor slime she needs. I'm strategizing. Got it all planned out. Okay, let's head over here. Getting stuck on the rocks. It is over here, right? Yeah, it's over here. And jump down here. Let's see if we can get him to explode. Oh, it looks like he's getting close though. I mean, we did feed him a lot. Let's see if I can get some more chickens for the guy over there. What's this way? I like games that encourage you to explore. And discover things. Oh, there's more of the mean guys down there. Glad they're not up here. I'm gonna get these. Oh! Oh, oops. Okay, there. That's fine. Oh, there's a bunch of chickens over here. Nice. This will- we'll be able to make the cat explode. Eat the carrots. Leave me- Does it- it calms them down when you feed them. That's good to know. So if I just bring some food with me next time, I should be able to calm them down pretty quick. Just gonna stop for a water break. Gotta stay hydrated. I can't cheat track of what I'm doing. Is that cloud just appearing? That's weird. Um, I can't keep track of what I do in real life either. Like, I'll go downstairs, forget what my purpose is, and then walk back upstairs at least five times a day. It isn't a day unless you do that five times a day. I don't know why, sometimes they make the hearts and sometimes they don't make the little hearts when you feed them. I'll have to figure out what that's about. Get up here, see if I can get some more food for both of those guys. 
Because I need the keys. And I need... Yeah, I need the keys. And I need the little phosphorus... Other. I'll read this. This entire cave system sealed off from a cave-in when I first discovered it. Maybe that's why the fellows up ahead are so grumpy. Haven't had a bite in a long time. In any case, don't let that long-awaited bite come from your own rump. Bring some food to calm them down. Oh, so there's more of the mean ones in here then, I guess. Let me just avoid them. Okay, another doorway, never mind. I think that's where we're gonna go next. We're gonna unlock that one next. I don't think I'll be able to complete her trade within- The moon is so cute! Her trade within the 24 hours that I was supposed to, but I'll- I'll try. Need eight of those. And I need those green things, whatever they are. Maybe they're in the jungle. I'll go check. These little statues are so cute. Everything's so cute. I don't know why I keep saying that. It looks like this fruit tree is finally full. I'll get some fruit from there and then maybe I can make that other guy explode. Let's see. Do we have enough here for him? No, but he was looking close. I think they shake when they're close to exploding. So I just need a little bit more. Oh. What's this guy? No, I want this one. Puddle. He's cute. I like him. Hmm. <laughs> There's more of these? Where do they keep coming from? Okay, let's put them in the water. I need chickens. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's another one of those map expansions. The moss blanket. Okay. Looks like there's a portal back to home up there. I continue this way maybe we're gonna take this one instead load them full of these still nothing okay maybe this is enough no here I'll be right back with some more here we go here's some And these fruits might allow me to explode the other one as well. This should be good then. So we'll start by feeding some fruits to the other one because I don't know if I'd have enough fruits, but I know I have enough of the other stuff. Okay. Oh! We got it! How many of these are there? I might actually be- No, I don't have the other stuff necessary for the quest even if I have enough of these guys. Let's pick up a few more hens, just to be safe. Come to see if this works. There we go! What's this? I thought I'd get another key. Oh, I get money from the crates? That's nice. Where... Okay. That's weird. Well, that's the end of the episode, guys. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. See ya!